Hello, I want to talk about the stage. We've got some big limitations now because we're on these webcams and things. But I still think that we need to have space to move around. And so realistically, I think we can do a small stage area to give us enough to move around. But if we move too far away from the cameras, we're going to disappear. Our faces are going to become small. It's going to be difficult for people to see our reactions. And that really then detracts from the whole experience as well. So what I'm suggesting to you all is that we have a, an area two metres deep by three metres wide. Now, my camera is set up for sitting down. So I'm going to crouch down a bit just to give you an idea. So what I'm suggesting is that you want to be about two metres, six feet away from your camera. And that will give you the ability to move about six to nine feet from your camera. I'm assuming it will be more towards the nine feet. If you're using a webcam, they have a wider angle and you will find it easier to have that area of working in. If you're using a mobile phone and I would suggest you don't use a mobile phone. I would suggest your mobile phone is your backup if your computer breaks down or doesn't connect. I would suggest you use a webcam or the built-in webcam and the area they have is bigger. I'm using the mobile phone because I've used it for these all these videos, so just for consistency. But this wider lens on a webcam will give you a nice area of space to be able to move and to work in. As you can see, a mobile phone is a lot more limiting. Um, again, it depends on the mobile phone. This is why it's so difficult to try and make it an even playing field for everybody. But looking at the various webcams, prices at different levels and different specification, I think it, the fairest thing is to be two meters away and be able to move effectively um, nine feet in each direction. So a little bit further than the arms that comes out. In my eight foot by eight foot room, this is not really the right place to demonstrate a presentation, but I'm afraid it's the room I have. This gives you the room to move around, to gesticulate. I don't think you're gonna see much below the waist and you need to understand your stage area Again, this mobile phone is a bad example, but you need to know where your stage ends, where your stage is too high and where it's low. Because obviously, if I start putting my hand out there and saying three, two, one, you can't see it. And that's why you need to learn where your stage is. You may want to put post-it notes on the floor. You may want to have some physical desk or something as the edge to your area. But whatever marker you use, you want it to be something that you can use without thinking about it. So you can then continue to do your presentation in the room that you've given. And maybe you don't want to come forward too much, but you can do. But maybe not too much, in which case you could have your microphone on a stick just there. If you've only got a short microphone, you're worried about it, just leave it on a stick there. and move about your stage. Toastmasters say they want us all to have the same area so that we can all have the same opportunity to move around. And so I have suggested that it's two metres deep by three metres wide. I think most of us will be able to work in an area. If you don't want to use the whole width, I'm not saying you have to use every inch. All I'm saying is I think that is a nice, decent area to move around. You're not going to be too small. You're not going to get lost. You've got room to move your arms around. You're not right in the face of the camera. And I think you will have a good space there. And I'm looking forward to helping you make the best of it.